time and exists, so it helps us understanding the exact time of the utterance. It's also temporal dexis. It concerns itself with the various times involved in and referred to in an utterance. So time dexis uh, involves different time uh, references in an utterances, now, then, etc. So this includes time adverbs like now, then, soon, and so forth, and also different tenses. For example, present and past tenses are also used uh, to refer uh, to time uh, they exist. The tomorrow of a day last year was a different day from the tomorrow of a day next uh, week. For example, uh, if we use the word tomorrow, and this tomorrow was used in past a, a year before, so it referred to us another day. And if we use the word tomorrow for a future, uh, for the for the next week, it would uh, refer to uh, another day. So uh, these can be different days. So we have to understand it that which uh, actual days they the the same word refers to. So time at verb can be relative to the same time when an utterance is made. So it is encoding time or ET or when the utterance is heard. It is uh, decoding time. Sometimes it can be the same. The encoding time can be the same and the decoding time can be the same. But sometimes they can be different. For example, these frequently the same. Uh, they can differ as in the case of the pre-recorded broadcasts or correspondences. For example, it is raining now, but I hope when you read this, it will be sunny. So now, it when it was encoded, the encoding time is different when this will be heard, the decoding time. Tenses are generally separated into absolute, deictic and relative tenses. For example, uh, when we use the past and he went. So, it is used in absol uh, absolute deictic, right? Uh, uh, it's co also called absolute past. Uh, but when we say he had gone, so this sentence he had gone, it is used with reference to another tense. For example, generally we say uh, when, uh, uh, when I reached home, he had gone. So, this he had gone, that is past perfect, is used with reference to an absolute adectic uh, or absolute tense, which is when I reach home. So, tenses uh, give both these senses. The basic time of temporal dexis in English language uh, is in the choice of a verb tense. So, when we choose a verb it tells whether the action is taking place in the present or with, or the action took place in the past. English has only two uh, basic forms, the present and the past. So, it is the simple present. I, I, I read a book and in, it is the simple past. I read a book. So, there are oh, two tenses in English which refers to the uh, time, present or past. I live here now, so it refers to my present uh, state, and I live there, then it refers to my past state. So, the verb live and the verb uh, lived, these two tenses refer to time, they exist, and tell uh, about my presence in a certain point in time. So, this last next Monday, week, month, year, they are timed excess, now, then, ago, later, soon, before, yesterday, today, tomorrow, etc. Timed excess in expression in, a, in relation to the certain point of time when the utterance is produced by the speaker. So, whenever uh, we use these expressions in, a, uh, in, a, in an utterance, they help others know uh, when the utterance was, uh, was uttered and which time it meant. So, time dexes help us know the exact timing of the utterances.